The placebo effect, also known as the placebo response, is a phenomenon in which an inert substance or procedure can have a positive effect on a person's symptoms. This effect is thought to be caused by the patient's belief that the treatment will work and is often seen in clinical trials of new drugs and treatments. Generally, placebos are used to control for the psychological effects of receiving a treatment, allowing researchers to accurately measure the efficacy of a drug or procedure. Placebo elements such as fake surgeries, sham pills, and simulated treatments can be used to induce the placebo effect in studies. Hi friends, we welcome you all once again to your own channel, Motivational Beliefs. In this video, we will talk about three elements of placebo as explained by Dr. Joe Dispenza, a neuroscientist turned motivational speaker. He is a well-known expert on the placebo effect and its various elements. He has written extensively on the topic, teaching physicians and scientists about how to use placebos beneficially in their practices. So without further ado, here are the three elements of the placebo effect as explained by Dr. Dispenza. Number one, conditioning. Conditioning is simply the act of learning to associate a particular experience with a desired outcome. This means associating pain relief with taking a fake pill or undergoing a simulated medical procedure. Over time, this learning process creates an expectation that any pain relief will come from the treatment itself, rather than from the patient's belief in its efficacy. Conditioning is when we learn that particular sensations or experiences result in a certain outcome. We expect these outcomes to occur based on our past experiences, so when they don't, we feel surprised and disappointed. For example, when I was having my wisdom teeth removed and the anesthesiologist put me under, I expected to feel pain and fear. But surprisingly, I felt nothing at all. Even though I knew there was a good chance I would feel something, this was due to the conditioning process. The anesthesiologist had repeatedly told me that having my wisdom teeth removed would be painful, so I expected it to be painful, and therefore it wasn't. Number 2. Expectation. Expectation is another key factor in the placebo effect. Simply put, it refers to our expectations about how something will behave or react. For example, when we take a fake pill, we may expect it to have an effect on our symptoms. And when we undergo a simulated medical procedure, we may expect to feel relieved of our symptoms. We form expectations about what will happen based on our observations and past experiences. For example, when I was having my wisdom teeth removed and the anesthesiologist put me under, I expected to feel a sense of detachment from my body. But surprisingly, I felt nothing at all even though I knew there was a good chance I would feel something. This was due to the expectation process. Based on my past experience with surgery, I expected that I would feel detached and nothing happened. Number three, assigning meaning. Lastly, assigning meaning is a key part of the placebo effect. This happens when we give the treatment its own unique meaning, separate from the actual effects it may have. For example, we may believe that taking a fake pill will make us feel better, even if it doesn't actually do that. By doing so, we're assigning our own subjective meaning to the treatment, which can have a powerful impact on our symptoms. For example, when I was having my wisdom teeth removed and the anesthesiologist put me under, I might have assigned different meanings to the different sounds that were being made. For example, I might have interpreted the sound of the anesthesiologist injecting me with a blood thinner as a sign that I was getting closer to becoming unconscious. In this way, the anesthesiologist's actions, injecting me with a blood thinner, might have had an effect on my symptoms even though the medicine itself didn't actually have any effects. If the placebo effect is attributable to thoughts having an impact on physiology, then perhaps we should take a closer look at our mental experiences and how they interact with our brains and bodily systems. It's time to investigate how the content of our daily meditations affect us. So, there you have it. 
The basics of the placebo effect is explained by Dr. Dispenza. By understanding these three elements, we can begin to use placebos beneficially in our lives, whether that's to relieve pain or achieve other desired outcomes. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, show your love in comment box, and subscribe our channel for more such motivational beliefs videos. Thanks for supporting the channel. God bless you and your family.